All right, class, today we're doing equations, tables, and graphs. That is our lecture, so go ahead and write it down. And you don't need to write down this first slide. Let me just kind of explain it. Here on the left is a table. This is a graph, and down here is the equation. So we have a table, the equation rule, and the graph. And what you guys need to know, if you have any one of these, you can get the other two. So if you have just a table, you can get the graph and the rule. If you have just the graph, you can get the table and the rule. And if you have just the rule, you can get the table and the graph. Now we're going to start with just the table, and we're going to get the graph and the rule. So you guys should now write this down. Write down the table. Spend some time writing down the table. And get yourself a xy coordinate axis. So the sub should pause this right now to give you guys time, about two minutes, to write this down. Okay, so we should be graphing this now. To graph it, what we're going to do is we're going to plot three points and draw a line. So we're going to pick any three points. I'm just going to pick the first three points here. I'm going to start with this first point, negative 1, negative 2. So to plot it, this is just a reminder, I go to negative 1 in the x, negative 2 in the y, and there's the point right there. The next point is 0, comma 1, and that's x0, y1, that would be right there. And the third point is 1, comma 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's that point right there. Uh, and then you draw a straight line through these three points. Now a good way for you guys to draw a straight line would be to use your ID card. You can just, it's a great straight edge and you can draw yourself a nice straight line. Now you guys are going to find the rule like you did before. What is the rule? What is the equation? Well, you, it, just as a quick reminder, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, but what math calculations get you from X to Y? So you start, remember you start with, well, 2 times X plus 2, that would get me from 1 to 4, but does that work here? 2 times x is 4 plus 2 is 6. That doesn't work there. So we've got to try something else, like 3 times x plus 1. Does that work? That works there. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. That works. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So there's my rule. y equals 3x plus 1. Um, once you guys have this written down, we're going to move on to a practice problem. I'm going to go to the next slide here now. So uh, here's the practice problem. The sub should pause the video and give them, I don't know, three, four minutes to write down the table. And they should be able to draw a line and figure out the rule. So go ahead and pause it now. So you guys should have got this answer. You should have been able to plot these three points, and your graph should look like that. And your equation rule is y equals negative 2x minus 4. OK, next we're going to, from the graph, get the table and the rule. So go ahead and make yourself an empty table. And try to draw this graph the best that you can. And now what we're going to do, to make the table, we have to write down five points that are on this line. But you have to make sure that the graph crosses an exact point. So it's where these, it, this is an exact point right here. So if I were to pick that point right there, that is in the x, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, in the y, negative 2. So that's my first point. I want to pick that point right there. And that point is x, negative 2, y, negative 1. I want to pick that point right there. That's easy. That's 0, 0. I'm going to pick this point here. It's x is 2 and y is 1. And then I'm going to pick this point right there. That is x is 1, 2, 3, 4, and y is 2. So there's my table. And to get the rule, you're going to get the rule just like you did before. Find um, what 
times x plus some number is equal to y. So uh, in this case, it's actually y equals 1 half x. So uh, I'm about to switch slides here, and you guys will get a practice. So make sure you have this all um, written down. And here, I'm going to go on to the next slide. And <clears throat> the sub should uh, pause the video so that you guys could fill out the rest of the information here. Okay, you should have uh, should have you should have uh, got your answer by now. So to table, you got to write at least five points, and these are the five points here. And your rule is y equals negative x plus two. Y equals negative x plus two. Okay, we're going to move on to the last, and so when you start with the rule, how do you get the table and the graph? So here's what we're starting with. y equals negative 2x plus 3. So go ahead and write that down, and then build a table that looks like this. On the left is x, in the middle is the work, on the right-hand side is the y value. Now, what are we going to do? Uh, what I'm going to do is, in the middle, I'm going to start with my x value, and I always start with 0. Then I do my work. Well, I'm just plugging 0 into this equation right here. y equals negative 2 times 0 plus 3. See how I just, instead of writing x, I wrote 0. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is just 3. So that gives me one point, 0, 3. Now what I'll do is I'll go negative number here and then a positive number down here. So I'm going to start up here and go negative 1 and then plug in negative 1 to my equation here in the work area. So y equals negative 2 times negative 1 plus 3. Negative times a negative is a positive 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. There's my second point. I'm going to keep going negative here negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2 plus 3, negative times a negative is a positive 4, plus 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. So I did my negative points, now on the other side of 0 I'm going to do my positive points. So I'm going to plug in 1, y equals negative 2 times 1 plus 3, which is negative 2 plus 3, which is a 1. So I've got the point 1, 1. Finally I'm going to plug in 2, negative 2 times 2 plus 3. It's going to be negative 4 plus 3, which is a negative 1. So you guys have these x and y points, and we can draw the graph exactly as we did before. Right? Here's the same points that were on the last slide. And all we're going to do is plot them one at a time. So I'm going to go negative 2, 7. Oops, I started at negative 1. I'm just going to pick these three in the middle here. Negative 1, 5 is there. I have 0, 3. It's right there. And I have 1, 1. It's right there. I'm going to draw a straight line between those three. And there we go. So from the graph, I got, uh, from the equation, I got the table and the graph. Okay, you guys are going to do a um, you guys are going to do a sample problem now. So here's the problem. I do want to give you a hint though when you're doing the work here. You should start at zero, and because it's one third x, you should go in multiples of three: negative three, negative six here, and three and six. So go ahead and try to work this out on your own, and then the sub will play the video back, and you can see if you got the right answer. Okay, so the points you should have got, I gave you the hint to put a negative 3 in there, because 1 third times 3, that just cancels out to 1, in this case negative 1. 
and one third times six. Well, that's negative two. See how it gets rid of the fraction? It's just like fraction busting. And down here, three, one third times three. Well, that's just one. And six, six times one third. Well, that's just two. So this should be your table. And I'm going to go to the next slide now, and we'll plot these points. That should be your graph. And let me go back to here. Sorry. <clears throat> and, well, it says practice here. So, why don't you go ahead and practice this one? Okay, your answer should look like that. One more practice problem for you guys, and it's another fraction problem. It is y equals 3 fourths x minus 4. Make sure you're using in your table multiples of 4. It'll make it much easier. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here's the answer. These are the points I would have used. 0, negative 4, 8, and 4, and 8. And that's what your graph looks like. Now there's one final thing I want to show you today that uh, is on your homework. You've got problems that say something like this. Is 2, negative 3 a solution of a certain equation? Well, how do you know? What you do is you plug in 2 for x here, and you see if the y value comes up negative 3. If 2 returns a negative 3 value, then it is a solution. So let's see how that works. Just like before, we've got this graph like this. I'm going to plug in 2 here, and I'm going to get negative 3. So what does that mean? Yes, 2, negative 3 is a solution to this equation. Let's look at one more. Is 1 negative 1 a solution of y equals negative 2x plus 3? Well, let's take a look. I put my x value in. I put my, I put my x value in, and I, I solve negative 2 times 1 plus 3. That's negative 2 plus 3. Well, that equals 1. Well, I got 1, 1. That is definitely not 1 negative 1, so no. 1, negative 1 is not a solution of this. So that was the last slide. You guys, good luck on your homework tonight.